Stop! Stop! In the name of Shadow Khan! Stop! <laughs> What's happening, people? So, this is the real OG, the OG you've been seeing the past few days was sick. But anyway, today is a brand new day because today is the first day that I'm actually going out doing something constructive. Because all this time I've been sitting at home and going like down the road you know, to buy food or to the little mall or whatever, right? But today I'm going to the Bangalore Palace. But first I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the road that I'm staying on. So this is a place called Indira Nagar and uh, you can check it out. It's quite neat. They drew the line here around the tree because this tree is very old and they respect the greenery. So they didn't remove the tree. You can check. Everybody moves in scooters here. But this place is nice, it's a little bit old, some new houses, some old houses, some houses maybe falling down a little bit, and then some houses like brand new. And there's lots of like Airbnbs and hotels and places. And uh, I'm actually supposed to stand there for my hotel because I'm gonna take an Uber now to go to the Bangalore Palace and meet up with one of my friends. So anyway, this is the road. Uh, let's just go a little bit further. The, let's, the wires, I don't know why, everywhere the wires are like crisscrossed. There's like no, uh, <laughs> there's no, there's no proper, I don't know. I don't want to say, I'm not saying anything bad or anything. I'm just saying they operate like this. If you fall from the top floor, you catch all the wires. And you probably get electrocuted before you fall. But yeah, so this is Indira Nagar. Hello, puppy. And uh, this is the road that I'm staying on. So the main road is literally, I would say parallel Maybe two roads from this, the main road. Hello, morning, morning, morning. Yeah, the main road is two roads from this. And if you take a walk over there, it's called 100, 100 feet road, 100 foot road, 100 feet road. And it has all the bars and pubs you can think about in the world. Hey. I mean, I'm even walking on the white lane, except. I'm still getting booted at. <laughs> anyway. You can see how the traffic is, yeah? They don't stop for no one. Yeah. The auntie is riding bikes. The whole family on the... On the bike. Content. This is one of the things I wanted to talk about here. There's no look left, look right, look left, look right, look left. Here, when you get to the stop street or whatever, you might look paranoid. <laughs> Because that's all you can do. Be paranoid. Yeah, who's phoning me now? Hey. Whenever I find places like this with the construction and all, <laughs> across the road. But here, yesterday, someone was talking about you know the, the fuel price. Because the fuel price in South Africa and India are pretty much the same. And how people deal with the fuel price is that everyone moves with bikes, scooters, you name it. Okay, I know there's a BMW here, but ignore it. I'm just saying, most of the people move with small cars, small engines, or they call a tuk-tuk. Anyway, I think it's about time now that I'll call my Uber. Maybe I can get to the main road there. Okay, let's go to the main road and I'll call Uber from the main road. Check what I found. Escom was here. <laughs> Escom was working there. <laughs> Escom was working here too. <laughs> So another problem I'm having, it's not really a problem, it's just uh, it's a challenge because the money gets finished really quickly. So basically if you take out like 5,000 rupees and in like one day you can finish it because we have different currencies. You know, the currency back home goes up to 200 rand, the notes. But here, you get 500 rupee notes. But if you take like an Uber, Uber will be like, I'll show you this now. But if you go to a restaurant, then you can pay like three, four hundred rupees for a meal. Yes, good morning, good morning. You can pay like three, four hundred rupees for a meal and your 500 rupees are almost finished. The challenge that I'm having is that someone told me go and take out like 15,000 rupees. Now, because I'm uh, from South Africa, I'm paranoid. You know what I mean? I never take out money like that before. So I take out a little bit at a time, but every time I take out money, I get charged. Good morning, morning. good morning. I get charged 65 rand, 65 rand for international withdrawal. But I've been to the ATM so many times now, 
and it's it's annoying but it, it is what it is you know it's my it's my problem and uh the other payment methods that they have here you know i was showing you guys that you can pay anywhere with uh with your phone but they don't allow us because all the apps don't work with our cards so you have to have like an indian bank account or maybe american so yeah i think i need to be american now we came to the main road this is one of the quiet sections of the main road that's the railway line on top there and here we are going to sorry, we're gonna call an uber from here try and get a cab to the bangalore palace you can check here you got banks and health and glow everyone is sleeping oh the smartphone vivo i heard that name before let's call the uber let me show you the uber now right bangalore palace you can see a few options we got uber auto we got uber go auto is a tuk tuk like this and then go is like a what you call those uh, half half back sedans one of the top boot so it's like a it's like a hatchback or a sedan and then you got go sedan so i'm gonna choose uber go 186 rupees to go about 10 kilometers to the Bangalore Palace. And if they confirm near Tosco, the original shake company. Where is the original shake company? I'm at a hospital, eh? Anyway, we'll fucking. We'll see, yeah, confirm pickup. And we'll see what happens. They even use the tuk tuks to transport things. What? Okay, they're empty bottles, but still. See, tuk tuk delivery vans. Look at that. This is how you deal with the petrol price being so high. Now, one of the things we do back home is that we have too much of pride. You know what I'm saying? Where you ever see any of us moving on a tuk-tuk van. Okay, they use a few hours, but they don't own it. The company own it and they work there. But most of these people, they buy their own tuk-tuk and they make their own way. For some reason, I feel this guy is going to come and stop on the other side of the road. You see? See what I'm saying? There's you there. That's fine, quickly. Oh. We got a luck over here because there was no traffic. Hello, brother. Sit there, yeah. there. <laughs> this is what the seat back. Just like a real Taro's bro. We're on our way to the Bangalore Palace. Over here, we don't lock doors. We move, you know, this, this seat goes back over here. I think another Taro was laying over there. But here, we don't lock doors, the bag is there, you know what I'm saying? But I'll hold on to it, because I'm paranoid. You know, someone asked me what the roads are like in India, right? And I don't see any difference between our, between our country and here. There is lots of developed roads and there's lots of roads like this, you can check. And there's obviously bumps everywhere and whatever, but I mean, we've been complaining about roads for a very long time. Yes, we have a lot of highways and a lot of roads that are very, very developed and nice. And it's the same here. You can see the bumps. So it's the same here. The road where I'm staying is flat and smooth. Not a single bump. And then here, you saw how that bike trail. You see what I mean when I say everyone on scooters, literally, even the couples, I'm trying to show you that one auntie, how she's sitting sideways, check her, sitting sideways, not even holding, okay, she's holding the back handle, but I mean, <laughs> I feel like that could be a meme, you know, <laughs> this could be us, but you won't ride, I don't know, see how small the taxis are, look at this money thing here, this thing is the size of my gets, well, the gets I had, that is how you beat the fuel price, lads. So, I don't know, we can't do this back home because we we, we had to ride in a scooter like this here with a handbag. I saw the one lady, she had a handbag in the center, like in the bottom there where, where you put your feet. She had a handbag hooked over there. Or oh, that, oh, there's a guy there, you got a, there's a guy with a handbag. See that? So, it's not a handbag, you got like a, a bag. So anyway, uh, we can't do that back home because obviously it'll get snatched. But I mean, if only we could, you know, as a country, work together as people to try and move forward, then maybe we can do stuff like this. Otherwise, we're just gonna suffer as Indian lady police officers. 
Well, I arrived at the palace, but uh, I don't have change, so the driver just went to get some change for me. Then I shall get out the car. Okay, Tony Barber. No, no, it's fine. I'm outside the Bangalore Palace, I'm just waiting for uh, my friend to come and meet me and then we'll go inside and try and figure out yeah, what to do inside here. Masanwari, welcome everyone to the Bangalore Palace. I'm here with my friend Rehan who came to Rehan. meet me. He's even carrying my bag, so he's a, he's a bag carrier, he's an African bag carrier. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Bangalore Palace. Uh, I think it was built in the 1800s. Yeah. 1800s. And it's owned by uh, the Mysore family who actually. But I paid for video. If you're a YouTuber, Facebook video creator, don't ever mention it when you come to <laughs> the attraction. I got kicked out of. I got kicked out of a national yeah. museum. You know what I'm saying? I got kicked out of a palace. I'm doing big things in my life, eh? I'm getting kicked out of important places. They're jealous, jealous. They're, They're jealous. jealous. No, no, no. And that uncle was there. He just say, <laughs> he's the word we use is arkat. He just say, no, give them refund. Take them out. Don't let them back in. I'm like, I never even do anything. I only st I press record on my cell phone, I mean on my, on my camera, and within five seconds they stopped me. And his uncle was like, that. Anyway, they let me back inside, but I only could take pictures of my phone. But this, look at me now. I am royalty. <laughs> Say what you just said again. We'll have authentic Indian thali. Alright. Like, it's, there's so many. The uh, fear that came in my. Organic. In my, in my stomach and my ass. <laughs> When he said authentic Indian Thali. <laughs> oh, I can't even tell you, eh? It's not even a butterfly's feeling, it's like wasps inside my stomach. So, what happened today? In, the, in our apartment, um, one a dog jumped and uh, bit a uh, sheep. Like, the, right now the festival is coming up, right? Everyone are yeah, get, yeah, yeah. getting sheep and keeping in their house. So, one street job. They're keeping the sheep in the house? I mean, like, apartment in the building? In the like you're talking about like a high apartment building yeah, yeah where they keep the sheep i'll show you i'll take you <laughs> hey that's new so you have a plant store yeah. but people can walk into the plant store yes they can walk into the store or they can buy online or they can buy online from amazon on amazon. amazon yeah amazon is really efficient yeah right yes yes so this is a high court of karnataka where, where, where is it not this where <laughs> there <laughs> what is that ah, that is what we are going we can't go inside, but that is a uh, local government office. Oh, <laughs> this is the High Court. Yeah. Oh, High Court. You can see all the lawyers moving there. <laughs> but forget this. Check this out. What in the world is that? What is that? It's a basically we done so the local government. Government. Office. Yeah. Government office. Looks like royalty. That looks like a palace. Yeah. This place looks better than Bangalore Palace. Yeah. So we're going there, but we can't yeah. go inside. Yeah, we're going to have to park in there. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to go inside and attempt <laughs> to, to record a video. Okay? <laughs> there, I don't think I get kicked out. I get arrested and deported. You look like an Indian. No, I know. That's a problem. Because if I was a Vito, then they wouldn't do me anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll know he's from US or from Britain. But me, I look Indian. I start talking, they get confused. I get deported. We are taking chances today, guys. The government building of India looks bigger and better than the Bangalore Palace. And I'm pretty sure the people are more friendly inside here as well. But you can see how massive this is. But we can't go inside. We only can walk outside because, well, obviously, the reason why. So I'm not going to even attempt to try. But we can't, I can't even attempt to try because they have gates and the gates are closed. Dude, this is massive. This place is like the size of pavilion. I keep comparing it to places that I know back home. I think you're shooting a Bollywood movie. You're shooting one of scenes for Bollywood. Government. Hello. What is this? It's a camera. That's the name of it. Vidana Sauda. 
It's so loud, yeah. I can't even hear myself talking. But yeah, I think I'm a bit hungry now, so we're gonna kick it to a place where we can chow. And someone's dog shut on the pavement of the air. Hey, 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 hey. But one day, if I become like a famous Indian uh, comedian, like a, like a Trevor Noah kind of thing, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll get invited to come. Oh no, I don't think. I don't think they're so open minded to have comedians come invited to the parliament to come and get content with them. So this was built by the British. Yes. And this then. Is built by British and this is built by Indian. Yeah, so that other. Uh, there's also a parliament building. Also built. Yeah. Indian. Yeah. Let's go. We'll be getting chased wherever we go. Man, yeah, wanted us to pay 20 rupees park the car here which is a no parking zone and then he's gonna take us in a tuk-tuk around the building on the roads which doesn't make any difference because we have a car but when we come back isn't the police something will give you a ticket yeah so they they, they may tow you or they, they may give you tickets <laughs> it will be uh, more than what he's charging us he charging that man is putting us in a trap then he's charging us 20 bucks so and the ticket uh, price will be around 200 rupees bucks so cheap yeah. 200 rupees yeah shish you know what uh, you know what price we pay back in south africa mm. one liter coke how much no no that's what we give the police hey <laughs> <laughs> you saw his response <laughs> one liter coke one liter coke that's all that's all or oh, kfc two piece chicken <laughs> they literally will ask you hey oh, yeah, give me a coke you know give me something for that hey hungry so many people got caught, not all the police officers, but a lot of them do it. <laughs> they take bribes, one liter coke or two piece chicken from KFC. Oh. So here you pay your 200 rupees, which is like about, I don't know, 40 rand. Yeah, between 200 to 500 rupees, 200 depending 500. about speeding, no parking. If they tow yeah, your vehicle, then they'll charge you more. How much is this, like a speeding fine? Say if you're doing like a speeding. around 300 rupees, 300 to 500 rupees. Yeah. Like what speed like? Yeah, so normally in city there is you can't go more than 70, 80. Uh, yeah, I noticed that because yeah. you can't even if you wanted you, to. You can't even go 50, 60 also in city. Because there's so many tuk-tuks and bikes and everything that's moving around here. There's no way you can yeah, so you can speed. Normally you get a speed ticket outskirt when you go. On the, uh, on the highways. Highways, yeah. Oh, so okay. Here you get it when, when you break the signal or you be on zebra line. Something like that. Zebra line. Yeah, that's called zebra line. So basically, oh, that you see that walk. auto person cross. So yeah, we call it cross. The yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we call it crosswalk. Okay, all right. Zebra line. But you know, you know, you supposed to say zebra, yeah. not zebra. So we call it here in. Zebra. No, the Americans lied to you. We we are not American. We, we no, I know, I know, I know. I know you're not American. I'm saying the way you pronounce the word it's zebra. Zebra. So the Americans, they also say zebra and then they came and they taught you guys English or the British British taught British taught, taught you guys English, sorry, my mistake But the British, the British don't say uh, Hey, what are oh. these fellows? Hey, there's been no washer, <laughs> we tell you no Hey, <laughs> hey this is scam No, another guy huh? Hey It's a scam Say no Hey, yeah. you don't want to go What are you doing? You don't want to go, you don't want to Oh, we got the same back home. They'll never say no. No. You have changed? Ah, no, but I got, I got maybe, I don't have no idea to be honest. 10 bucks? I got some coins here. I don't have cheese here. Take all those coins here. That's all I got. Can you cook here too? There we go, more. Yeah, that's fine. There we go, more. Give him, give, him. give him, no give him. Hey! Hey, enough, enough. Huh? For where you got these coins? I don't know, they gave me at the shop. Over there. Hey, sir. <laughs> hey, how okay, can like, they come and clean your car and then ask money? I just cleaned my car in the morning and said, <laughs> Oh man, I feel sorry for you man, I wanted to give more I mean like it's not that you shouldn't give them, yeah, you should yeah. give them Yeah. But like this is not the right way We are at a very posh place I'm moving up in the world, you know what I'm saying Now I'm going to posh places You can check here, I don't know what this is, a bar or it's a superstore 
It's a store. Mm. I can just imagine some of you crying to go up there. It's just a bar. That's what it says to. Just a bar. How to cross the road in India. Look at here. So one way, so it's maybe a bit easier. But let's see. I'm going to run here. Hey. Stop. Stop. In the name of Shahrukh Khan. Stop. <laughs> Wait. You saw that. Shahrukh Khan stopped the traffic bus here in uh, Brigade Road. And uh, they're doing tattoos and everything over here. They got a place called India Chai for all your tea drinkers. This is like uh, McDonald's, Twin Birds, Metro. I don't know what that is. Movies. United Colors of Benetton. Levi store. Oh, this is like the. You can check here. You got like a suit, shirts. And they got. Lacquer shoes. Sorry, sorry, bye. You got nice shoes here. You can buy caterpillar and everything. This is all shopping on the street. Oh, some glasses over here. Look for OG glasses. Hey. Hey. I'm looking for OG glasses. You saw ya? Yeah. But it must be like this shape. So they use, but they also don't have. That's similar. The, similar. No man. That look like. <laughs> that look like. I'm blue. Oh no, that one there looks like I'm blue. Selling bikes here? Yeah. No, the parking. Oh yeah, yeah. They park in the bikes. Oh, so this is one of the lanes over here. There's another bar. How many bars in this place, bro? There are so many. Every turn you take, there's a bar. Those are drinking here. Shan and Beyonce, unisex salon. Beyonce has reached India. Brother. You have a very very nice shop, I must say. Thank you, bro. Wow, on the street looks. So this is hookah, but I heard people don't smoke hookah. Can I go inside? They do, they do. It's legal in Bangladesh. No, I know it's legal, but I heard people just buy it because it's a uh, ornament. They have like ornaments. Oh, you sell fragrances and everything. What's this? Atar. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice watch. Bongs. Bongo miso. Bongo miso. There we go. Okay. This man selling all the flavors and everything. But do your research. Tops, bro. Very nice store you got. Indo this? Dubai Plaza. This is good one. Indo Dubai Plaza. It's a plaza. Oh, you walk inside. So it's a typical plaza. Hello, sir. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. How are you? Good, good, good. Yeah, so these guys got everything here. Shoes, cell phones, you name it. Hello brother, hello. Cell phone. I think this is like a like a cell phone plaza and shoes and clothes. You think maybe they'll have uh, what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a protector. Hello sir. Do you have a screen guard for this? This one sure. GoPro. Yeah, we saw but Come this side, brother. Nothing. Yeah, okay. What's that? Skin transplant Okay. Sorry, brother. I only speak English. Only speak English. This is uh, skin's glass for mobiles. Oh, for mobile? Yeah, for oh, mobile no. skin. I like clean. Thank you. I saw a comment earlier. It wasn't on my page. It was on uh, 947 radio where the lady was saying, uh, they asked, what are your fears about traveling? What? Oh, sunglasses. Oh, no, they don't have OG stuff here. Yeah? Hey, boss. I'll buy everything here. I'll go mad. No. Oh. I don't know my chain. Yeah, so this lady was commenting and she was saying that it was upstairs too. Oh, we're upstairs. This lady was commenting and she was saying that uh, she's scared to travel because of the language barrier. So you go to different places and you can't understand what people are saying. But. Uh, it's not, you don't have to have fear about this. Hey, this is a plaza, bro. What would you call it a plaza? I thought this was gold. But you don't have to have fear about traveling and having a language barrier. Most people can speak English and if they can't use hand gestures, you know, to figure out what you want. You can smell like beer. Look at all the brands here, boy. 
the kag maka i don't know what that is despicable interesting it's all closed yeah bye only closed but nice but you did it very nice so the, like the clothes yeah like cheaper than uh, the stores but all like real brands mm, indians are styling boy look at this look at this I'm looking for OG shots, you know what I mean? There's no OG shots, yeah. Hi bro. Hello, how are you? What's up bro? Good, good, good. Hey, bro. Nice, what you selling here? Yeah? Everything I'm selling only bro. Everything? Yeah, hi bro. <laughs> Say hello to South Africa. Oh, you're from South Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Hi South Africa, what's up? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this man knows the greeting, you know what I'm saying? Let me give him a card so you can follow me. Yeah, sure, I'll follow you. Give me. Cool. Subscribe you, don't worry. Subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, sure, bro. Hello. Cool. Cool, guys. OG. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. There's more upstairs. Oh. Second floor. The mosque. Oh, the mosque. Oh. Hey, I'm screaming so loud. Hey, I'm Okay, goodbye to the Dubai Plaza. Ah, yes. Goodbye, sir. goodbye. Dubai Plaza. Have a nice day, sir. Hey. I need to buy myself a scooter, eh? Hey, I have it. In my home. Huh? I have the scooter in my home. Oh, you have a scooter? Yeah. What's here? More bars and more clubs. Look at that. Excuse bar, Yuck Kitchen, Tattoo Artist, Olive Cafe, A. Eh? But I know you guys would love this place. We spend hours over here bar hopping and drink things. And this is only one lane, like uh, 10 bars over here. I don't even know where they are. They're probably all upstairs in the buildings. Yeah, I can be here. See, here's it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, upstairs there. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Red yeah, rabbit. Oh god, there's not be a bar. This must be like a very kinky. Oh no, it's a clothing store. I can't go inside. I don't have enough money to go inside that store. But I can go inside this store. So this place is just 24 7. I mean, like night, 11, 12 o'clock, it gets closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great wipe at the night time. You'll enjoy it. Okay. So 12 o'clock, you can walk up here and go to all these places, all up to like 12 o'clock at night. This is called Church Street, Church. Church Street. Oh, okay. And they have to put Starbucks right in the beginning of Church Street. Just to make a statement, as soon as you enter, you might go to Starbucks. I'm so paranoid that I'm looking up and looking at things because of walking across roads and stuff. I feel like I'm gonna get knocked. It doesn't change, guys. Shit, man, life is so different here, bro. We don't, we have one road, which I can't even compare this to that road because, I don't know, I'm talking about Florida Road in Durban. In Johannesburg, we have like a few places, you know? But, what's it called? Map Mapani, Ma not Mapani, <laughs> Maponeng, Maponeng. Maponeng, Maponeng. I'm talking about Maponeng. And there's a few other places. So how long the street goes for? Maybe another kilometer? One kilometer? Yeah. Are we gonna find food? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna find food. So let's go on the mission and look for food. Yeah, there is one restaurant. There is one restaurant. Don't tell me it's a kilometer away, please. It's about 200 meters. 200 meters, okay. I can deal with 200 meters now because. See, third wave. Third wave. Basically, Corona third wave we were waiting for, right? So yeah. Someone opened the restaurant itself. Someone opened a restaurant called Third Wave because they were waiting for the third wave to hit. That is brilliant. But here's the problem. Yeah, let me tell you the problem. Let's just walk a little bit further before I tell you the actual problem, right? Maybe it worked at the beginning, but I don't see anyone there. There is, there is. It's a good place. Nice it's a good food. place. Okay, okay. Nice, it's a good place. Uh, nice food, nice coffee. Chai point. Okay, so you always have places called like Chai Point where you can buy uh, tea. So that's like very, very popular, very common. Yes. I mean, yeah, Mahatma Gandhi Road. Yeah, I thought we were in church. Mahatma Gandhi Station? Metro Station. Metro station? Oh, I can take the train from here and go back to where I'm coming from. Yes. Maybe that's a mission I should do today, yeah? So the train station is right there. I've never taken a train in India yet. So maybe, I can't ask you, this is not live. Maybe I should, maybe I should do that today. To show you guys what a train, what the train is like. My friend is lost. He can't find the restaurant. No, 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 no. I heard you talk to yourself just now. You said, where is the restaurant? And that concerns me now because as a foreigner, I'm here with a local who's lost. Here in India, you can just park your bike and you can leave it and you can go to work. And when you come back, 
it will still be there. Benefits. I'm always, you may get sick and tired of me saying this, but I hope maybe one day some politician, somewhere, someone will start getting the message, you understand? And spreading the message about how we get robbed of life. We can't do simple things like this because our country can't work together. So I will say whatever I want to say. I don't care. Stop in the name of Ritik Roshan. Yes. Right. Ritik Roshan is more powerful than Shah Rukh Khan in India. Entertainment store? What's it? A sex shop? Oh no, no. It's for games. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Something is not right in my head. So we're in a very nice uh, restaurant. It's the first time we're coming to a nice restaurant. We can take a seat here in the corner and catch a chow. Menu is here. Empire. The menu is quite big. It's like Three, six, nine, eleven pages, fifteen pages, and you can see the prices. Right? We had a quarter, ninety rupees. It's only chicken, tomato, fry, but most of these dishes here go up to about hundred and forty rupees, and then these ones here go up to about hundred and seventy rupees. So, the the kind of this, that's quarter, and then there was ones bigger. So, basically, when you have a meal in a restaurant, there's some meals that you know that are very affordable, and there's obviously meals that are also not. Kind of higher, similar to the prices that we have back home. But today I'm looking for biryani and rice. I found biryani, so check here: biryani, rice, chicken biryani, curd rice, egg biryani, fish biryani, ghee rice, jeera rice. Where's the mutton biryani? Oh, there we go. Empire special biryani, grilled chicken, mutton ran biryani, rich leg of mutton in aromatic biryani rice. So they only give you one leg of mutton. Yeah. But I'm not really happy about one leg of mutton. I like, I like pieces. Which one you're seeing? One leg? Rich leg of mutton in aromatic biryani it's, rice. It's, it's basically 1400, it's big leg well cut. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> big leg. 1400 rupees. <laughs> For a big leg, dude. And how, how many people can eat from that? You can eat like 3 4 people. You want to eat? No. You don't want to. What are you eating? I want to eat Thali. <laughs> it's a mix of uh, everything. This bra, he told me about Thali like one hour ago. The whole way here, yeah, I'm talking about different foods, biryani and everything. We come and sit here, I see what you want to eat. I want to eat Thali. Bra, oh, dude, you're bra. funny. Uh, In Thali, you get it. Uh, Did you just say bra? Uh, you see, my man is learning our language. He just called me bra. Respect. Respect. Tell me the story now. So in a... In Thali, you get it chicken gravy, chicken kebab, uh, rice, rotis, everything in all in one. That's called Thali. Rice and rotis. Rice, roti, gravy, vegetable gravy, chicken gravy. Show me Thali on the menu here. Yeah. yeah. This is Chinese. Chinese, no, man. Thali, Thali. Yeah. See. Oh, this that thing. Thali, this is veg Thali. Oh, okay, let's have it. Bra. <laughs> oh yes, this is Tali. Oh my. What in the world? I'm actually so happy that I chose this over biryani. So, talk to me what we got here. Tomato chutney? No, no, no. no. This is butter chicken. Butter chicken? Yeah. So, this is kind of sweet. Sweet kheer. Sweet kheer. This is curd. Curd. Oh, this like the yogurt. The yogurt. This right. is roti. Coin right. roti. Coin right. parata. Right. This is kebab. This is uh, chicken manchurian. Right. This right. is cabbage. Cabbage. This is called dal. Right. It's kind of green. This is wedge gravy. Wedge gravy. Yeah. And three. This is butter chicken. This is rice. Rice. This is papad. Papad. Yeah. It's called purple. And here we have salad. 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 Okay, normal salad. We so this is the. Here we missed something. It's pickle. Pickle. Oh, it's a pickle. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rice. Right. Good luck to me. So I just wanna eat. I'm hungry. Where do I start? Basically, all this which has cup here, you have to keep it out. And then? Continue. Then you put rice on the plate. Rice. 
That's how you eat. No, you man, you are lying. You are lying. Why can't I just do this? Yeah, right? You can start eating that also, but once you put basically rice on the plate, you can't eat it because rice will go here. No, I'll take the rice from here. See, yeah, let me show them how to eat this thing properly because this man, he's telling me I'm gonna take all the food, put it outside the plate and everything. No, 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 I like this. That's what I meant. Oh, like this. So you just place, you place it out there. Place it outside like this. The bowl, which is then this bowl. So he's saying I'm gonna place all the food out like that. And then you put rice here like this. Yeah. And then? And then eat. Where's the curry? Yeah, you eat curry. This, the table is not big enough for this. Put here like this. Oh, okay. Or you okay. can eat with a spoon or normally in South India, yeah. they eat with a hand. Eat with a hand. Okay. So you can eat with it. Okay. Or you can eat with a hand. I like to eat with a hand. I got you. My hand is already messy from touching this thing here. Well, I'll try I'll try what this man is saying. Let's do it. Let me do it. Spicy? It's potent. No, I don't. I'm lying. So I put some rice in the center, right? Yeah. To be honest with you, I like this butter chicken gravy. So put some butter chicken gravy here. You can see the chicken is quite rare. It's cooked nicely. Next switch color. Oh and it has like a sweet taste. It's very soft. The outside is crispy. But it's so divine. I like this thing. It's a different flavor chicken. Oh! Spicy. Yeah, this is a spicy, very strong. Oh! Oh, Lord! Where's that curd rice? <laughs> What's that? Sweet. Sweet, no, no. I need a. This one is a devil. Okay. This one is very very tasty. But it has a very strong spice. Like it hits you at the same time. Hey, you see where I come from now? I'll put one spoon in everything. You just mix a spoon. Mix and work. move on. You got some doll here. Yeah? See what I was saying to him is. Right now, there's a there's a spoon that came from here. I went in there. Usually, I'll die. I will fret. But today it's about trying new things. Cabbage. Why you say I mustn't take this? What's this? This is vegetable. That's not vegetable. It's mutton. <laughs> the son don't even know you. This is not vegetable for me from this side. No, it's not vegetable. There's a piece of mutton. Yeah. It's chicken. No, it's mutton. Yeah. Oh. I don't like that. Show this. Sheep or goat? I don't know whether it's sheep or goat. But. I feel it's sweet. I don't like the taste. Why this piece? A little piece of pickle, yeah? It's a sour pickle. Dude, you're not preparing me for this thing. You were eyeing. You didn't know that. I mean, there is salt there. I can't eat any. Bro. No, it's hot. Next time I order this thing, I'm gonna tell them no spices. <laughs> they can give me curd and they give me uh, they give me curd and kheer and rice. With all the spices and all these things, yeah, I'm dying. On top of that, see, yeah, one piece chili, two piece chili, 
three piece chili, four piece chili, one massive size chili. Okay. See, I have finished all the chili. Kawa. Mujh se dost bhi karoge, right? I'm moving. That is the chili dish. I'm sorry, I can't finish it. But I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. And I'm gonna put myself first. And I'm gonna put the curd second. No, no. Yeah. That was an interesting uh, lunch. Burning me. But now I'm going to even a better one. Hello, brother. Fire pan, eh? No fire. Ah, you say you haven't got no fire. Hey. Ah. I thought maybe we can have something a bit different. So yeah, you got mango pan, uh, orange pan, strawberry pan, chocolate pan, Mali. Can I have? Huh? Malai. What's Malai? Malai. Go oh, on, on. I want uh, chocolate. What do you want? I want plain. Huh? This is plain. That's plain. I don't want to eat literally plain. Oh, okay. Check it how you give it to me. Oh, oh. So what you there's a leaf inside, right? Yeah. So the this leaf is how, this is how it's going to be. Only the chocolate. This is plain. Yeah. So what you have is chocolate flavor. So you know butter nut, butter leaf, whatever. That is plain. Sorry, sorry. So that is a plain plain butter leaf uh, butter leaf. And this one is covered in chocolate. I'm very, I'm very scared now. What's this here? Isn't this a paper? No. No. Right, you ready for this? One time, mixer. Hmm? One time. One time. No, <laughs> you like it? <laughs> My mouth is tough. You can see how much chocolate there is. And then you get like this raw leaf. Brittle nut. That hits you. But it's very tasty. Brother. Usually I will never eat this. But it's tasty. It has like a like a very strong, you know, you know the butternut nut taste, and it's stuck in your throat. I'm still chewing something. I think I'm still chewing the leaf. All the chocolate is gone. It's been a while now since I put that thing in my mouth. Probably about three minutes, and I'm still chewing the leaf. That's too much for me. Huh? I hope this thing. Makes me feel very healthy. Yeah, yeah. You just think, yeah. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not gonna spoil your stomach or anything. It's nothing to spoil it. Just plain flavor. No, it must make me feel like three years younger or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You glow your face. Oh, that's fine. Long as my face can glow for Facebook and Instagram, I probably got green leaves in my teeth now. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going now. We will see, but. One of the problems is that I only got three batteries and um, I never knew that they kind of finish so quickly. So I think maybe you need to have six or maybe even ten batteries for a camera uh, when you're vlogging because you're constantly using it. So if I don't have any more battery, uh, today we're gonna call it quits. But we'll see. But if we call it quits, we're ending it here. You can see, I almost got knocked and died. We're ending it here on Church Street. Church Street, right? Hello? Church Street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're ending it here on Church Street. You can see it's getting a bit busy. It's in the afternoon now. So lots of people are coming here to drink and get drunk and go home and get scolding by their parents. My name is OG Two Scoops. Until next time. I mean, after all, I'm trying to save a little bit of battery power just in case I end up on a train. So, let's see how it goes. Right, see y'all.